Yes, I am wearing the exact same outfit because I'm recording these videos back to back and I want to save time, okay? Fine, you want me to look different? Okay, here, here. Wait one second. All right, you happy? What's going on guys, you know, like, hey, if you need CCS coming to get another brand new episode of Filmmaker Reacts, a weekly series where I react to a film trailer or music video from a filmmaking perspective to help you guys understand what goes into making your favorite videos on the internet. Woo! Did that in one take this time. But anyways, guys, we got another Filmmaker Reacts for you guys. We're reacting to Eric Nam, congratulations. Featuring Mark E. Bassey. Hope I'm saying that right. So this was on the poll that I submitted on my community page uh, that you guys could vote on which one you wanted me to react to. And this one got the second most votes because Jackson Wang is obviously Jackson Wang. So we're gonna be reacting to it today. Um, I love this song. I've been like looping it nonstop for like the past three days, but I haven't seen the music video, not the whole thing. I've seen like clips and pictures and stuff. So we're gonna be dissecting this for you guys. For the first time, live react. I love doing live reactions more. Cause like, I feel like I'm with you guys and it's more reaction. I'm like, whoa, and it kind of throws me on my toes cause I gotta be like talking about the filmmaking stuff and watching the video and like trying to analyze it at the same time. It's hard, but it's kind of a fun rush. Let's jump right into it. Congratulations. Okay, I'm noticing a color cast. So a color cast for you people, color cast is where it's the footage is graded to appear more one color than the other. So we have RGB scales, so red, green, blue. This right now is a reddish color scale. I, break balloons, you get cups. Dress up in your favorite... I love the dynamic camera. Like it's moving along with them and it's also one shot. You love, no, I love one shots going all the way back to save me. Champagne for the two of us. I set the table. Yeah, I'm bringing that ring I bought. I just realized before I call it a color scale, it's color cast. Jesus, be a filmmaker, Daniel. You do with it what you want. A souvenir. Lots of like interesting. Like look at the, the we got these cool blue lights, and there's some like teal bluish coming from over here lots of different light combinations and it's really cool this is still one shot okay we're introducing some blue and like overhead lights that's i'm calling a cut i'm calling that's a cut right there it might not be but if there was that's where it'd be because the wall covers the whole camera you and I, congratulations. like yeah you can see it covers it and you can mask this new footage to come out the other end you finally mean just saying now it's very blue purpley See the switch up? Oh my gosh, this is cool. And since it's like a party, it makes sense to have all these elaborate lighting setups, which I think is really cool. Um, there was a challenge, you know, we always tried dissecting these in like film school and stuff. You know, it takes a lot of gels and a lot of actually, like if you have like actual practical LED lights, it's not as easy to do. It's just lighting it regular, like what I'm doing right now. That being said though, since it is like in an apartment or a loft or whatever, there are still lots of practicals, which are lights that you can actually see, like this light and whatever's going on here and this lamp, they kind of throw it off. But you can tell there's like studio behind the scenes lights that are giving it this color. Cause it looks like this color is authentic cause you could do it in post, but if you didn't post then everything would be the color scale. This would be blue purple, that would be, but it's not, these are actual lights, which is awesome. Those lights too. You, you this is still one shot or made to look like one shot, which 
props to them. We got, we need more one shots cause they take a lot of work and they look really nice, but only for a reason. It can't, if you're a music video, it's good. Cause like it's only a three minute segment, but for sometimes all one shots, not cool. Some my friends know about it before Rounded. I did. The rumors got too loud round sound. He was behind my back running round. You were <laughs> little move that was funny. Girl, that's why I'm sad to see it go. So congratulations. I liked that transition. Look at him. Look at his hand. He like goes like that. That's why I'm sad to see it go. So and then the camera moves to Eric Knox. That's another potential cut. This one looks more fluid than the last one. Through the wall, right here, it's coming. That one looks kind of smooth. That was, okay, that was, that was cut 100,000% into the shirt, bam, and then come out of the shirt, new cut. Now it's green. They're switching it up on us again. Wait, this is the same place. Cause look, that light's there, and that light's there, and that's like there. Whoa! But it's like a different color cast, so you thought it was a different place. Congratulations, baby. Now that you're finally leaving, let's throw a party here. Props to them. They did a full 360 and landed in the right spot. Oh my gosh. A toast to you and I. Congratulations, baby. I guess you really mean it. Okay, there's some let's rack focusing, or like that I can tell is being a little shifty. You can tell it gets in and out of focus a little bit. So, I guess you like really right there. Mean it. That's because they're moving so back and forth. And since this is a dark apartment loft place, you need the wide open aperture to be able to capture all the light without it being super grainy. But this does not look super that grainy or whatever. Not a lot of noise. So this is probably take it shot at like one f 1.8, f 2.8 with very shallow depth of field. So adjusting any movement is going to change that focus. You know, they don't have it on autofocus because you're filmmaking, you do it on manual. So you have somebody actually adjusting that dial to have to track the motion and stay in focus all the time. It's a hard skill. I'm I'm not that great at it yet. That was another cut when he like flew into the camera and now we're got some blues again. But now, right there, I noticed that since he was moving so much, the focus was surprisingly good for how much he was moving, which I thought was really nice. And there's this weird cut at the end right here that's kind of throwing me off. Right here. Is that outside right here? Because we go in and back out, which I don't know if that's a cut or if they just wanted to go in and out. And now it's a normal. This looks pretty normal, like the color scale is gone. So maybe that's just symbolizing that the the party or the whatever, the apartment or whatever has to do with the video. And I like that, that they had his other song in the car playing. That's like a little meta. I like that. Teasing another music video, I don't know. Dude, again with the credits, props to these, these solo artists for like, you know, like let's go back here. For giving props to the, their people. Like a gaffer, key grip, best boy. Like these are under production assistant. Like regular, like like that's what I would be doing. And I would get credit for this. That's really awesome. I appreciate that. Thank you, Eric Knopf. You're awesome. He's touring here actually. I don't know if I'll see him, but he's touring in Phoenix. That might make like a really cool vlog. You know, I could go and do like a Eric Nam vlog tour. Would that be cool? I don't know. It's not that expensive. Let me know if I should do that. Let me know in the comment section below. Should I do that? Should I make that happen? Eric Nam concert vlog. Comment below. But anyways, guys, I like this video. It's very cool, very fun, playing with a lot of different lights. 
like color lights, having different color casts, and the one take with the smooth transitions, and we talked about racking focus a lot, so a lot of cool stuff to talk about here in terms of filmmaking. So if you did like the video, or you did learn anything, I ask you please drop a like, subscribe for new videos every single week, and this has been me, Daniel, like gave Phoenix CTS, and I want you to find yourself, be yourself, love yourself. Happy holidays. Hi guys, Daniel aka Phoenix here, checking in with you guys at the end of the video. If you did enjoy what you saw, please check out one of these other two videos, or just like the video and subscribe down below for a video every single week. Thank you guys, I love you, have a good one.